Another very important um, primary lesson is flight harness training, and uh, we're going to discuss that right now. It's, it's really important because it was part of the uh, top primary lessons that actually influenced this whole program. And the uh, flight harness training actually was shared to us, the importance of it, uh, by Steve Hartman from the Parrot University, Hartman Aviaries. Of course, in designing and fine-tuning his flight harness over the years, he had been gradually desensitizing and training his birds, his young fledglings especially, to wearing this harness at his aviary. Right. So we thought that would be a limited potential for us because at Hari, the temperature is not always favorable and the seasons sometimes prevent us from actually flying our birds outdoors. Yet the importance that was shared to us is not necessarily having them to fly outdoors all the time, mm -hmm. but it's more important for them to be comfortable wearing a harness. Correct. So that then birds, um, caretakers are more tempted to take them around, mm -hmm. right? right. And, and of course this is going to increase the likelihood that the birds might have a varied lifestyle. Exactly. There's numerous places where we can take them, even if they're not flying in a big field. Exactly. And uh, I think that with these new generation of parrots that we have, caretakers are very concerned about monitoring and uh, monitoring health, about exercise. And Absolutely. this is a great way to provide this for them. Although being on a harness doesn't necessarily mean that they're right. going to be exercised. Because right. if they're just on a harness and perched somewhere... It doesn't don't. mean, you're right. And it's very important that, uh, that you make this parallel because a lot of people think that because their birds are outside of the cage on the play gym, they're exercising. Okay. And again, putting them on a harness and walking them in the park uh, on yourself or on a perch or on a stroller doesn't mean that the bird is, is making any kind of exercise. But uh, it can be done, especially if the bird is uh, accustomed to it very young. Mm -hmm. And of course, encouraged and praised to do so. There's a lot of places also in certain countries where we have places where we can fly our birds with a harness in a larger enclosure. Uh, of course, it's uh, very important to mention that we must be uh, very careful at all times when we're supervising our birds on the harness. Of course. Especially in a park, you know, there can be dogs, there can be uh, birds of prey. Exactly. It's, uh, and, and when we're doing that, we also have to make sure that we're one-on-one -on -one with the bird. Yes, very important to be on one-on-one, -on -one, especially at this age, right? Yes. This is very important. Uh, we're monitoring all the time the bird uh, to see any sign of discomfort or fatigue. Right. And also protect perhaps fear. Mm -hmm. So definitely uh, when we're trying to do this to our fledglings, especially in the fifth stage and sixth stage, we're trying to be one-on-one -on, -one on them. And this is the time where we're developing uh, their comfort zone to being independent and to be away from the other flock yes. members. So this is something that requires definitely one caretaker with one bird. Right. Socialization is a tool that is used throughout the early parrot education program. It's a very important tool and flight harness training provides a lot of socialization yes. for the bird. For the bird and especially throughout his life. Yes. Further on, especially if the caretaker knows and the information is well communicated and he is taught mm -hmm. how to place the harness, which is not that obvious. No, it's, it's quite, it can be quite difficult. Yes, and some caretakers are, are kind of shy or embarrassed to say that they might not be able to actually get this harness onto their bird. Mm -hmm. And, and we see a lot of people in parrot conventions and when we talk to them about and sometimes people are really reluctant to let us know that they can't really touch their bird all that much. Mm -hmm. The bird has matured and is now very, very protective of his body or has displayed some kind of aggression when the person touches his wing. Mm -hmm. So ever more important that we persist and we persevere and we make this an ultimate, really important primary lesson while the bird is aging, before he develops this reluctantness. Right. Along with the flight harness, there's a wonderful DVD from Steve Hartman, which explains how to put it on, but it also yes. provides other information as well. Well, it's unfortunate that other caretakers who have a very easy time to put it on, because it is relatively easy to put this harness on, the way it is designed, it's very simple, compared to others that have appeared over the years. Uh, some people just don't look at the DVD because they think they know how to do it, and their birds are quite familiar with it, but it actually teaches us how to harness can be a tool to educate our birds as well. Uh, the birds do feel like they're putting on the, their backpack to go to school and <clears throat> it's very important to mention this because it kind of sets the pace for what's going to happen next. That's right. Josie, we touched a little bit about uh, socialization just prior and I think we need to discuss this a little bit more though. Yes, we did kind of go over that quickly yeah. and it's very important because this is the tool, the harness, that will allow a caretaker to uh, enrich the bird's life with more socialization. Now this can be bringing the bird to a uh, 
bird club reunion, provided that there's rules there, you know, normally people have their birds tested and they're always contained. Uh, this can also mean, you know, taking the bird out on a Sunday afternoon right. to a family picnic or to a park. And, and it's unbelievable what can happen in this kind of situation because the children then will learn about parrots and their importance and the caretaker might even start to share with them all the conservation efforts done all around the world. These birds can become ambassadors in our everyday life if they were taken out of their homes and shared with the public. So there's, there's all a great value to this socialization that can happen. And of course, this prevents our birds from being cage-bound. Exactly. And it's very important when the birds age, especially. Additional to socialization, harness training also provides enrichment. We can see this uh, mitric conure here on the harness, and it's on the rock here, but it, there's a lot of things going on here that we don't necessarily know just by looking at the slide. There's a dog there, there's waterfall, it provides a lot of different types of enrichment, visual enrichment, tactile enrichment, standing on the, the rock different or walking surfaces. on different surfaces on the grass. This is a perfect time of year. We just actually photographed this this afternoon mm -hmm. and it was, it's a wonderful time for us because everything is blossoming and so the leaves are coming out into our maple trees and we have a lot of dandelion all over the grass and today particularly the grass was quite long. So this is really fun for our fledgings. It's very comfortable and soothing for their feet as mm -hmm. well. It's kind of hard to be perched on a perch. No matter what mm -hmm. texture you offer, I mean it remains a perch and a lot of value to be gained from walking on different enrichment surfaces that we call enrichment potential for sure. Although the mitric conure in this slide is in stage six, this is a process, a primary lesson that would be, we would begin at a much earlier stage. Yes, and throughout all the stages we desensitize the birds a little bit further mm -hmm. to uh, being comfortable wearing the harness. Exactly. So in the first stage the birds are, are barely having a wet warm towel on their back and then just the harness without mm -hmm. of course the leash. Uh, and then we gradually, as the birds start to age and we start training them on the floor, we start to allow them to walk with their harness yes. while they're moving around a little bit. And of course, as they progress more and more, they're wearing the harness either on a table top that's anti-slippery and then eventually on their perch. perch. And then eventually we, of course, bring them outdoors after desensitizing them to looking outdoors for sure. Exactly. Um, there's a few things that we have to note here. One thing is very important that the bird is not hungry, as with all the primary lessons that we Yes, do. that his fingernails are not slippery. Yes. Because, uh, especially when we're trying to put the perch, uh, the, not the perch, but the harness on, mm -hmm. uh, ideally when they're young, I like to sit on the floor, uh, cross-legged, and I put the bird on me and we gradually do it together. That way I can safely lift his wing because it, it looks simple when the harness is on, but in order to get it on, definitely need to um, manipulate these wings a little bit to get this over the shoulder and so this is all much easier done when the birds are sitting comfortably on us mm -hmm. with a towel at the beginning just to make sure that the birds are very very comfy mm -hmm. and uh, preening them throughout is important as well because it's very uncomfortable at first especially if the feathers are not well groomed underneath or they're not well resting it can be a little bit of a discomfort for sure um, it's also important that the bird is exercised prior to trying to put the harness on, get <laughs> yes. that energy out. A rambunctious uh, chick, a fledgling, would be difficult to actually get a harness on them. Uh, a little bit like a toddler, you know, and certain things that we want them to, to do actually are best when they're fully exercised, for sure. And this is a very important to say that these sessions are usually short. Right. We don't want to exaggerate. We don't want this to become a completely unpleasant experience. Um, the harness, I feel, again, we, we think everything should go in, in the chick departure package. Yes. But the harness, I, I find, is, is a very important one as well because it usually is fitted to the bird. Mm -hmm. uh, there are already sizes on them that can guide us to which size for which species, but every individual is a little bit different. Right. They can even get used to the color. Yes, of yeah. course, and of course we usually mark them yeah. once they've, they've been adjusted and this mm -hmm. accelerates the speed at which we choose the harness for the bird. Right. So putting them in your chick's file and their folder is kind of neat and then and of course you can include this in the package of your bird. It's a very important tool for the caretaker and for us not to forget also to show the caretaker how we actually place this harness on their bird.